Ricky, you called on the lads to put another big performance in and they've done that with 50 points there. Yeah, we, we talked in the week about taking small steps to building something special in this competition and yeah, we've taken a massive step forward to, to get a semi-final spot and we'll find out later on when the other games unfold where whether we're home or away. To do that in front of what was an exceptional crowd again that have got behind us was really pleasing and that Jack said it in the in the huddle and I said it as well, super proud of the guys, the effort they've put in and you could you just see they came together as a group and most pleasing thing for me as a coach and as, as a group of coaches is they're growing every week and they're learning. Yeah, some young guys in there that have really really take some massive steps forward in their development and super pleased for the guys and and for all the hard work they've put in over this block of two weeks. You knew it was going to be tough because Gloucester came in it with maximum points themselves, but that first half really drove the performance home. Yeah, it did. I think yeah, we came in at half time and yeah, we're going to talk about the positives and how well we were playing, but we just had to back that up. And I thought credit to Gloucester, they came back at us. And yeah, even though we had you know, two try lead, they, they came back and put us under pressure. And it just shows the quality side that they are, that they're able to like score at the end and, and still be fighting for it. Yeah. They were right in it. If you think they had 15 points and if they'd won here today, they'd have qualified. So for us to do that at home in front of the crowd, and I want to say a big thank you to all the supporters that have supported us over this, these two weeks because we've had some exceptional crowds for the Prem Cup. And yeah, the guys can feel how proud the crowd are with them and, and you can see that it drives them on as well. You know better than anyone, this is a stepping stone for young careers to really take off and we're seeing that with some of these players. Yeah, and yeah, yeah Greg in our back row today is exceptional and he, he had the same sort of performance last week and yeah, he's been at the club now for about a month and he's learning but he's learning very quickly and what I'm really pleased with is that the fact that there's some young guys there stamping their game onto you know games that they probably should be in the in the back a little bit and they're coming to the forefront and you know Sol came into the midfield you know and strong and led well defensively and obviously got some go forward and and even just getting Tom Henderson back on the pitch after a long break you know was was great to see especially after getting Aiden back from injuries as well so this this competition is brilliant for that but yeah we're going to enjoy today you know we've got a great build up now sort of building a little bit of momentum going into Cass from a training week and just, just like I said before I'm just super proud of the guys and the effort they've put in Talk to me about side stepping hookers there that's, that's pure filth at the end there wasn't it? <laughs> it was it was I think that's probably in his like forte it's not that he just pulled it out of the bag he's yeah, he's an elusive runner yeah I think yeah, what what we did have today is we had some real impact off the bench yeah, if you bring Pat Schicklin on yeah, in that front row with Frosty there and yeah, we, we managed to get scrum clarity like we did last week which enabled us to get territory and you know Jack Inod, there's two quality hookers there. Jack Inod has led this team really well and then to be able to bring someone on the calibre of Frosty and the ability to beat defenders like he did was, was it's a credit to the squad and how we're growing. As you said, you've got something now to look forward to in the new year as well. Yeah, so obviously we'll reset now back into Cass because that is a massive game for the club and but these guys will come away now like you know enjoying that they've made a stamp on you know, on selection as well. I think there's a lot of guys there who will put their hands up for the Cass week and also moving forward and yeah, when we do come back into this competition, we're going to keep the same principles and ethos that we've had and give that togetherness. And like we said, we've taken one small step to building something special together as a group. And yeah, whether we get a home semi or an away semi, what we are going to do as a club, we're going to attack it and yeah, we're going to look to be getting into another final. Thanks for your time, Rick. Thank you.